Yeah, hi, this is a short video to demo playing some videos on the terminal using Xterm on uh, Linux. So, um, so let me play a video and then I'll talk about how I made this work. Uh, first off, I should say I'm using Debian 12, but this should work with most other modern Unix-like systems, and it might even work with the uh, WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux on uh, Windows uh, or Xcorts on Mac. I haven't tried it, your mileage may vary. Uh, I've only tested it on Debian 12. Here you can see I'm Debian 12. Um, and, uh, oh, very important, this requires a terminal uh, terminal emulator with Sixel support, and uh, Xterm is the only major terminal emulator I know that uh, knows how to render Sixel graphics. Uh, so let's just look at a video. Um, here we go. Okay, so what you're looking at um, is a uh, is it the MPV player rendering uh, uh, a 720p MKV file um, and rendering it as a stream of Sixel control codes that are printed out via um, STD out to the terminal. Um, and uh, yeah, so MPV knows how to uh, handle basic keyboard input through standard in, uh, so I can turn on. Um, subtitles by pressing J and uh, I can figure out where I am by pressing O yay and um, yeah oh yeah and before you d <laughs> DMCA me uh, the Wikipedia Foundation told me that this is uh, a, um, a public domain video because I think it was made by NASA around the time of the end of the, uh, the Cassini mission and um, here I even have the the URL I got it from, in case you're interested. Um, oh, and if you're unfamiliar with Sixel Graphics, I have uh, a URL for that as well, and I'll put these URLs in the description. Um, so I used a command that I call 6MPV, which is just simply an alias uh, I put in my uh, bash aliases file. Uh, here, let's Right, so it's it's basically just that, right? Um, and uh, you can uh, you don't have to type that in, or I mean, you just copy it from the um, uh, the Bobcat fact page. I'll also put a link to that that link. Um, so yeah, and also you might have noticed that it was doing sound. So uh, MPV knows how to use, I guess, different sound plugins, um, and which means that it pro, but it only talks to the local sound source. So it probably won't work if you SS, if you're using SSH, if you SSH into a, a system and then try and, and run the MPV from the remote system. Um, and obviously, if you're uh, SSHing to a machine where there's a, a fair amount of latency, uh, you know, your mileage will definitely vary. So, uh, yeah, so that's basically it. Um, you know, a video rendered in a terminal window. So, thanks for watching.